everybody, it's Slab Train, and welcome back today, guys. Finally making a return to Kona, and I figured Monday morning would have been as good a time as any to get back into this series. You guys have been highly requesting this on my damn comments on Twitter. Where is Kona? Slap, what are you playing Kona next? We had Kila Kile from last episode says, am I the only one who has waited so much, man? 37 of you guys thumbs up that comment. We had Silviu. I'm not even going to try to pronounce that last name, 90 thumbs up saying please do more. So I figured today would be perfect to start this week off and then tomorrow we're going to get into the wheel cam content for the rest of the week. If you would like to keep seeing Kona on the channel, all you guys need to do is slap that like button. Now last time we were here, if you guys do remember, um, I was looking for a magnet. Now a very nice gentleman in the comments. 787 Costiella says, hey Slap, the magnet is behind the blue house where you ended this video. So if it is here, man, I'm going to be so excited because you guys know how long I have been looking for this damn magnet. So I, oh, is this it? Oh my, gee, thank you, bro. Thank you. That is huge because I have been literally looking for that for a long time. And now I actually forget how to Kona. It's been a little bit. I'm trying to remember if there was a jump. I don't think there was. Oh, wait. Yes, there is. R1. Is that it? Yeah, R1. Okay. Got me tripping there for a second. So what we need to do is go back to the doctor's house. Man, we got to go over there. Maybe do a little tow. Is that possible? I'd love to tow something. I doubt it, man. Imagine that, though. Now, I am sipping on a delicious coffee once again for today's episode. Let me know what you guys are sipping on in the comments section down below, man. But I figured this would be perfect. Warm me up in this winter wonderland. I will tell you, though, it does get me hyped for winter again. I know what you're saying right now. Slap, seriously, you're hyped for winter? Well, I mean, when you have a rear-wheel drive car, it is pretty damn fun. Now, before I go any further, I have no idea even if I'm going the right way right now. But I got a nice little downhill section, and I'm not stopping right here. This is dope. Okay, here we go. Oh, shit. Wrong way, because uh, that's a broken down truck if I'm not... Where's my map, man? Come on. Now, if I'm not mistaken... Oh, there it is right there. Okay, so the doctor's is going to be on the left, and we're just going to go completely straight right through there. Now, that's going to be absolutely perfect. Hopefully, with all that being said, we can get there and uh, not have any issues. We're going to get the magnet where we need to be, and then finally progress through this game because that's really been my only hurdle is that damn magnet man that's really about it so i'm gonna head back finally got the magnet though i'm actually really excited about that because i was not happy about that man i was actually reading through the comments before starting this video hoping and praying somebody saved me and you guys did man so for that i thank you but I'm thoroughly surprised on how many views and interest this game has been gathering. You know, when I first started this series, um, I had no idea that these videos would be clearing 90,000 views apiece. Absolutely ridiculous. Like, that's Forza content. Oh, jeez. So, sorry. Yeah, I know, man. Carl's less accurate and runs shorter distance when he's stressed. Well, shit, man, I would too, right? I mean, just dinged up that front end of this beautiful truck. I'm sorry, man. I mean, I didn't mean to. Got lost in conversation, but we're going to see what's at this doctor's house, and uh, we're going to progress through our career. Well, not even career. I don't even know what the hell this is, man. This game has been real weird. I'm getting my gun out right now, though, man, just in case. Who wants it, man? All 360 no scope, some bitches right here. Guaranteed, I will. Don't tempt me, man. I already read the letter. Don't need it. Flashlight, though, I do need, because it is a little bit freaky in here. Come on. Thank you. Kiora or whatever. I'm so sorry, man. I'm terrible with names. He goes, you have to check the documents in the doctor's office. It was pretty difficult, I have to say. Now, I think I know what he's talking about. And if it is, I'm going to be pretty damn happy because uh, this is now, what, episode number four. Uh, but the second time that I'm going, maybe even third time that I've been at this damn doctor's office, trying to figure out what to do to check that box off. So if I'm right... I was going to say, imagine if there's a key underneath there, but I think I already got it already. So, these documents right here, I don't know why I pulled out my gun. I felt safe, okay? We're going to just do that. So, these documents, apparently we need to go through them, maybe, and see exactly what is going down here. Um, all the symptoms point to some root cause. She's pregnant. She refuses it. She denies it. Willing to better husband. It's not the father. What is this, damn Maury? Come on now. Jesus. To hell with patient confidentiality. Yes. Carl wouldn't be able to track down his client without unveiling secrets. 
Now he knew where to find Hamilton. Yep. We should have just ticked off that box, I pray. Please, come on now. Oh, yes, man. Thank you, my dude. Holy shit, that was a long time coming. The village seems deserted, even considering the magnate's undoubtedly eye-catching manner within the immensity of the forest, it will be like finding a pine tree in a spruce plantation, man. Well, if that's the case, it should be pretty damn easy then, right? I mean, I'll say, all right, well, um, so with that being said, where to, right? I mean, I don't know where the hell they want me to go. We're gonna hop on back, and if there's a wolf out here, man, I will dummy him, I swear to you. But we need to figure out where to go at this point because uh, now I don't know. I gotta try to find the client. I mean, son of a bitch, man. This is the problem with coming back to a game after being away from it for so long. You forget what to do sometimes, man. All right, well, uh, let's see where we're gonna go. I'm back across the bridge. Let's see what is next. The speed coming down this hill, holy shit. Just wanna be able to rip it sideways through this, man. That's all. Can I go through this? Uh we have trees stuck in our dash. Appreciate it. Now hopefully we can make it all the way back there is the thing. Because I don't know if it's gonna be possible. I hope it is. But that last house is where I thought that we needed to be, so I'm really really hoping that my Kona skills are up to par. I mean, like I said, I don't really watch anybody else's videos on this, so I have no idea if this is even correct. Um, at this point, I'm just hoping I'm not losing time, man, because this is, this is where it's coming down to. Because after I go here, I really don't know where else to go. So, I don't know, man. We got a nice little spot right here. This must be his place. A little entrance in the grass? Where, why? I don't know if I like this, man. Have I been here before? I'm getting a little bit of goosebumps going down. Oh my god, is that a little doghouse? I don't like that. Not one bit, man. Okay. Here she is. Um. I just damn dog just pops out of there. So I think we have made to the right spot. Um, there's a little path down here. I'm gonna see if I can get in the house first, and then go from there. It's pitch dark, man. I'm not. I'm not liking that at all. We have a back door. Is it locked? Unlock that shit. Oh my god. Lock picking skills are at an all-time zero, man. Can't get into anything. Rocking chair. That's not damn creepy. Trash can. What do we got? Ooh. A bottle. Okay. What's the letter say? It's getting too dangerous here. We have left to Manston Nord Janae Roy. Okay. Um, I don't like that. Oh my god, what? Was that my breath? I could have swore I seen like a ghosty image, but it's okay, that was that was my breath. It that, was a classic was Canadian house. Except for the absent horde of kids that would normally be swarming about. God damn it, I don't have any wood? Are you kidding me? I don't know how many wood. We're gonna take a few cigarettes with us this time. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and I guess, I guess we'll take that. We're gonna take the steak, so I may get a little bit hungry. Take a few Polaroid films, and that should be exactly new every day, man. Every day. Here we go. Start that damn fire. Appreciate it. So, we're warm, but still a creepy damn area, though. I'll give you that. Um, we got some books. That bottle. I'm not touching that bottle, man. We got a letter here. What's it say? It's a big damn letter, man. Pause it. Read it to me. Let me know what it says in the comments down below, man. I'm just kidding. Imagine that, though. <laughs> Give me a rundown, man. Give me the bullet points. We found a new experience, especially the most certain one. Take a life and slide the wall. Okay. Let's read the last damn sentence. Some experiences carry just too high of a cost to be worth it. Really? It's true, man. Okay. A little radio. That's not creepy at all, man. But I'm gonna leave it though. We have garlic? Vampires? Like what? Okay, no. This is. I feel like I'm gonna be damn 
make it a spaghetti. Just one more move and white is checkmated. Game over. It seems the game was abandoned right before the final strike came down. I don't like that. Ooh. Fully stocked. We got damn ketchup. Can I make something? Do we have any Mr. Noodles in here? Ooh, we can fill up that bottle. Let's go grab that. Okay. Thank you. Let's get some water. Thank you very much. What's that? Cookie jars are always too high to reach, man. That's true, man. I always hated that about the cookie jars. Or they'd be extra loud, man. And like, you know what I'm saying? The couple radiated something akin to lightheartedness, to freedom. Perhaps some people out there truly found a way to live happily ever after. A little bit nervous going through this place, so I'm gonna be honest with you. Just stealing everything that I can from them, though. Just looting the shit out of them. Ooh, it's a bedroom. Uh. We got a chest. Monopoly. Oh, sorry. Konopoly. Oh, my God. It's Konopoly, man. You All manners of clothing were gone. As if the Rois drove out of town with their closet in tow. Damn, man. Just straight deserted, though. So he's pretty much saying that he wanted to murder uh, Patrice. And I don't know if that, the way that he would be able to get a concrete sense of what his sinister deed would be stripping away from the very fabric of life. Man, that's some, that's some man, creepy shit, though. I'll tell you that right now. So, we got one more room left. There fish in there? Fishy! Nope. Okay. One room left. Here we go. I'm gonna say, please don't be anything in here. It's a very weird spot for... Goddamn TVs. Jesus, I didn't mean to do that twice. That, that, that one gave me goosebumps, I'll tell you that right now. Fantasy page three. It was Matthew's turn to throw his secrets at her. His hopes, his cry, his despairs as he was throwing coins into a wishing well. She'll be dead by the end of the month. He promised himself. That's terrible, man. So what is it? Holy shit, that, that, that one scared me, though. I'm not gonna lie. That scared me. That phone? God damn, man. All right, here we go. We got letter number two. Fantasy number four. Pretty much, he didn't kill her yet, but he said he was going to take her hand in marriage and then have more time to kill her later. Man, that, okay, this, this is getting real damn eerie real quick. What is this? Gun rack? There's nothing Not there, a though. single rifle left. That had to be a bad sign, Carl surmised. Yeah, no shit. Oh, we got some ammo, though. Hell yeah. Alright, we got more, uh, I think that was sugar up there. I'm not really too sure. So, this place is pretty much abandoned, but... We need to see what's behind it, though. Because there is quite a bit down here. And... I don't know. I'm a little bit nervous right now, man. We're walking out in the middle of nowhere. But I got the rifle, though, which is good. Rifle keeps me safe. Oh, shit. You see that, right? Oh, my God. What, what should I do? Should I let the damn bullets fly? I haven't fired a single shot yet, and I'm feeling it, man. Oh my god. Hey, hey, hey! I will fire, man! I swear to you. Carl never oh, thought he would I got him! Same with the wolves. Where you going, man? Hey, you better be running. Just dummy that thing right there. Oh man, I'm so sorry, bro. Hashtag sorry, not sorry. I mean, you're gonna kill me, man. What do you want me to do? What the hell was he licking? Another magnet? Okay. But I think now we pissed off the herd. Is what? Oh, there he is right there again. Nope, that's not it. I'm seeing wolves now everywhere, man. It's not good. We got another axe, though. Hell yeah, give me that. Can I take it? Nope. I don't know why I just grabbed that wood, man. The wood is so heavy. There's no point in grabbing wood. Holy shit. Another massive find in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, open up all these drawers. We've got a magnet too, man. Give me the magnet. Okay. Got some ammo. Got a massive saw blade. I just wanna take that saw right off the wall, man. That'd be perfect. And I think that's everything in that area. I don't see anything else. Oh, right there. That's it. can make a fire source, which will give us a save. That's exactly what I need. 
few matches. We got a bottle on the ground. Look at this chair, man. What kind of chair is that? What is that going to hold? Paper Mario? Like, Jesus. Carl, like many of his contemporaries, felt like he had more trouble breathing when he wasn't smoking. What the? Cigarette he was his own it. personal breathing assistant. We'll have another one, right? Does he even smoke the damn thing? Okay, he just takes one hit and then drops it. I mean, I don't smoke cigarettes, but if I did, I think, uh, you know, they're kind of valuable, aren't they? Oh, shit. Okay. Guys, I'm sorry. I shot them, man. Okay? Here, no. Oh! Look at them! They're like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? Carl never thought oh, yeah, he would be dropped. dancing with All the of you. Look at the glitch. Oh, thank God this glitch exists right here. I don't know what the hell happened. But... Carl never thought he would be dancing with the wolves. Boom! All three, man. Look at this. What a massacre. Watch those be people and they just got transformed into wolves and we're killing every single one of them? Ooh, look at all this shit. Hell yeah. We got tires back here? Like, what is this? We're just gonna go to over to Bedard's house and we're just gonna see. Carl was no find. burglar. Oh, God damn it. He didn't need to resort to petty techniques such as window breaking to find his way in. A good detective simply looked for keys where gullible souls oh, hide them. Perfect! The house he... smelled like incense. The kind that reminds you of the good lord, of peace. Shit, man, stop. What's on top? Probably used to watch. Well, that's usually what you do with a fire. I mean, with the TV, man. I need a log is what I need. I'll get the log after that, I guess. Religion was very influential throughout Quebec many years ago. Indeed, it was surprising that Carl did not come across a single chapel since arriving here, appearing papal. His crooked fingers gave the impression he was about to bestow a miracle. Right? What the hell's this? Those diapers? That's disgusting, man! The family's mother must have spent her days washing the filth off her kids' diapers. Yeah, no shit. That's gross. Literally no shit, eh? God damn it, that's gross to even think Who about Who knew right that now. giraffes thrived in the North Pole? The craze for toys was oh, stupefying. Dad's making me see the doctor with his big hands touching me everywhere, his foul breath exhaling all over my face. Yuck! I'm not sick, I'm in love, I love Martin so much, there's nothing I like better than thinking about us playing together like we always do. I wonder if he found the key I lost the other day. He was pretty sad when I did because it says because it's for the dad's garden shed, and Martin has always been afraid of him. I think Martin's dad is a bit like dad's god. The key fell in a burrow next to the shed. Poor Martin, he cried like a baby, but I still love him. Okay, so that's good. We gotta look for that damn key, man. Um, what else do we have up here? Not much. One room left, and we're gonna look for that key. Carl wasn't desperate to the point he felt compelled to break into the secrets of some chubby village lady. We're about to finish off this episode pretty damn soon here. I want to find this key, and then we're going to uh, probably leave this for episode number five here on Kona. But definitely have been loving this series, man. If you guys have been as well, too, don't forget to slap that like button. Look at the garage! This is huge, man. This is dope. Got some gas. What else we got here? Some rims. Ooh, a little heat source, thank you. Got a little bit of light. Yep. Got some radio going down. Oh my god. A true Catholic always Key. strives to keep lowly thank temptations you. at bay. Obviously, Carl thought, someone in this house wasn't doing a good job at upholding the Holy Bible's teachings. You guys have enjoyed this as well, too. I'm going to go back, get the truck, and I'll see you guys back here for episode number five. Let me know if I've done anything wrong or if I've missed anything for next episode. 
and uh, just let me know how to check off that next box that I need to get. Because at this point, I'm going to end up coming back here and uh, seeing where this trail leads. So that's going to be done for next episode. Don't forget, you guys follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box down below. Coda, episode number four. Huge thank you once again. If you guys have made it to the end of the video, Jabota Slap Train, I'm out. Peace. Welcome back guys 